This is Learning Game B3 Policy, and this video is focusing on defining security parameters. The specification says that we need to include password policy, acceptable software installation and usage policy, and parameters for device hardening. A password policy will have set parameters that you must follow. A parameter is kind of a variable or a list of operations that you need to include in your policy. So these are rules to help staff know how to create a strong password. Examples are the password should be long, as in longer than a certain amount of characters. It should include a combination of upper and lower case and symbols. They should be changed regularly. They shouldn't be shared with others, shouldn't be written down, shouldn't use familiar names and shouldn't be a simple word. The rules can be set in the system to not allow users to create a password that doesn't meet the requirements. This means that you can enforce people to create a strong password. Examples of strong passwords are you could use three random words, which creates a real long password that is difficult for people to guess. Or you could use your combination rules of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and a special character. So an acceptable software or installation and usage policy is a list of approved pieces of software that can be used and installed. So in other words, you're giving people a list of which software they're allowed to use and which ones can be installed. Most organizations usually completely prohibit, prohibit most users from installing any software without permission. This is usually to prevent malware being installed by mistake. There's also the threat of illegal or unlicensed software being installed if you do not stop people from installing applications. The rules can be enforced through the operating system. So in other words, through Windows or iOS, you can stop people denying, sorry, you can stop people installing software unless you've got a particular level of access. So this links in with your user access levels. An administrator can install software, but most people are not allowed to. And this will all be detailed in an official policy. So in the last unit, we looked at device hardening, which is the process that you follow to ensure that a system is secure. So the parameters for device hardening is a list of things that you should do to make sure that the device is secured. So as well as just passwords, there are some pieces of network equipment that also need their passwords changing from the default. In other words, you could have a router that has got an administrator standard password installed onto the router, and this would make it very easy to gain access to. So all default passwords should be updated as part of your device hardening process. The other parameters would be things like installing a firewall, installing antivirus, and the use of strong passwords.